Okay, so the femoral triangle is this anatomical triangle found in the upper thigh um, at the junction between the anterior abdominal wall and the muscles of the upper thigh. So it's important to know about because some important structures pass through it. But first I'll just talk about the boundaries of the triangle. So laterally you've got the medial border of the sartorius, so this border here. Medially you've got the medial border of the adductor longus muscle and superiorly you've got the inguinal ligament. So the inguinal ligament runs from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. So you can see it on this model here. So the anterior superior iliac spine is here and the pubic tubercle. So the, an, uh, the inguinal ligament runs from asis to the pubic tubercle and that's the base of the triangle or the superior border. So you've got, so this is the triangle here. So the superiorly you've got the inguinal ligament, the medial border is the medial border of the adductor longus muscle and the lateral border is the medial border of the sartorius muscle, so this muscle which runs all the way down here. So this is the femoral triangle and on the, f the floor of the triangle is made up of these three muscles that you can see here. So laterally we've got the iliopsoas muscle which is the combination of the iliacus, the psoas, major and minor muscles which originate in the abdomen and then you've got these two muscles medially, the pectineus muscle and obviously the adductor longus muscle. So they, these muscles make up the floor of the femoral triangle. So we've got a few things that pass through the femoral triangle. We've got arteries, veins, nerves and lymphatics. So laterally we've got the femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve. So we've got the femoral nerve. Medial to that we've got the femoral artery, medial to that we've got the femoral vein and not shown here we've also got lymphatics, so lymph nodes and lymph vessels. So we've got nerve, femoral nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein and then we've got um, some lymphatics. So the artery, the nerve and the lymphatics are actually enclosed in a fascial sheath. So this is the femoral sheath. And the femoral sheath has three compartments. It's got the compartment for the artery, a compartment for the vein, and a compartment for the lymphatics. So the compartment that can, contains the lymphatics, which again aren't shown on this model, is called the femoral canal. And it's important to know because um, the abdominal contents can actually herniate into the femoral canal. So this is a femoral hernia. So the fascial sheath has three compartments which contain the femoral artery, vein and the lymphatics and each of these are obviously enclosed in one big femoral sheath. So the femoral nerve lies outside the um, femoral sheath and a way of remembering the contents of the femoral triangle is the mnemonic NAVY so N-A-V-Y, nerve, artery, vein Y front, as in briefs, pants, whatever, underwear for men, you know. So nerve, artery, vein, from lateral to medial. And you've also got this branch the, uh, of the femoral artery, the profunda femoris. So if I just zoom in a little bit, there's this branch here which comes off, and that's also contained in the femoral triangle. And this is the deep artery of the femur. So profunda femoris, profunda meaning deep in Latin, so the deep artery of the thigh and that runs closer to the femur so you can just see that so this is the profunda femoris artery which lies deeper so there's also a mnemonic for remembering the borders of the femoral triangle and that's SAIL, S-A-I-L so S sartorius, board, medial border sartorius, A medial border of the adductor longus, and I L inguinal ligament. So sail to remember the uh, borders of the femoral triangle, and navy to remember the contents 
So nerve, femoral nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein, Y fronts. Okay, so that's the femoral triangle.